Today, I want to talk to you about multivitamins. More specifically, I want to tell you a dirty little not-so-secret secret about multivitamins. You may not actually need them. Okay, I know, I sound like one of those scaremongers. I did say wasabi isn't real and all that shit. But seriously though, most of us don't need to pop multivitamins every day. Now I know it's tough sifting through all the medical articles that come up every month, and it doesn't help that most have conflicting headlines. One day they tell you caffeine is good for you, the next day they tell you caffeine is the silent killer of success. One minute La La Land is best picture, next minute it's not. Multivitamins or complementary medicines are a different story. They're not prescribed by doctors, yet most of us take them, you know, just in case. Or if just to avoid mom's nagging. Thing is, the medical community has been saying this for years. There's a mountain of evidence the size of Kanye West's ego to show that the average person doesn't really benefit from multivitamins. As Dr. Ken Harvey of Monash University told Four Corners last month, It really is crazy stuff. You're pissing the money down the toilet uh, for no benefit. Let's take fish oil or omega-3s for instance. Lots of people take it, believing that it can help prevent heart attacks. However, in 2013, Dr. Andrew Gray and his colleague Dr. Mark Boland from the University of Auckland reviewed research from major scientific journals between 2005 and 2012. And according to their study, there is no compelling evidence that taking fish oil protects against the first heart attack or a second heart attack. In fact, studies show that taking certain supplements can actually harm you. Last year, researchers at Imperial College London found that concentrations of iron in standard tablets prescribed by doctors can trigger DNA damage within 10 minutes. The college's Dr. Claire Chauvelin said that each standard iron tablet contains almost 10 times the amount of iron men are recommended to take each day. Now, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't take the tablets if you've been prescribed them. But if you haven't, overdosing on them could be harmful. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going on crusade against the money-making monster that is the big, bad, billion-dollar drug industry, though it is a monster. I mean, this is the industry that is fighting legal marijuana because it works and it's causing painkiller prescriptions to plummet in the US. This is also the business that's said to have engineered the TPP to make medicine more expensive. Having said that, I don't believe that supplements are completely pointless. Even those ridiculous sugar bear hair gummy bears, apparently they do contain the essential vitamins and minerals and relatively high levels of lead. What I do believe is that there is no magical pill that you can take that will cure all ills. If England's National Health Service is to be believed, most people don't need to take multivitamins. This is because they are able to get all the vitamins and minerals they need by eating a healthy, balanced diet. Okay, I know we don't all watch our diets, but unless you live on goreng pisang alone, you don't need to pop vitamins that you may or may not need after every meal. They're not breath mints, okay? Put it this way, water is good for you, but even too much water can kill you. So unless you're thinking of having a baby or you feel that you have some sort of deficiency, in which case you should go and see your doctor and take some medical tests, you don't actually need those supplements. I know, eating clean can be quite a challenge, but just because you pop a multivitamin, it doesn't negate all the unwholesomeness that comes with that nasi lemak you have every morning. So, forget making expensive pee and just eat your damn veggies. Just saying.